Thanks a lot. Okay, let's talk about Money Tuesday right now and the topic. This is something that's very interesting for you. A new report finds fees could be eating nearly a third of your 401k and neither you nor your employer realize it. Uh, financial planner Stuart Welch of the Welch Group joins us here today. It's good to see you as always. Good morning, Rick. That's a big number. Well, it is a big number. That's it's a, a very little, big number. It's a little misleading. Okay. With, because when they did the study, they did a calculation of a particular mutual fund and assumed a rate of return, which was probably uh, appropriate. But the 34% came out of the return, not out of the whole pot. And that's what I was going to ask <clears> you. So when we hear numbers like this, this isn't talking about the money that you put straight in there. Or, or the money that your employer matches necessarily. It's still, you know, it's still an issue, and the Department of Labor has seen it as an issue, and they've required disclosure, uh, okay. transparency. That's going to become okay. uh, become law July one. So if you have a 401k, you're now going to have greater transparency of what are all the layers of costs that are associated with your particular plan, your particular account. Okay, let me throw this one out there though, because a lot of folks will just say, okay, I'll sign up for the 401k, you know. Mark this on the computer, mark, 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 finished, and don't look at it for again for another year, maybe two, three years yeah, down the road. Yeah, so true. will these disclosures really make a difference? Uh, I don't think it'll make a difference in that. I do think uh, more information is important. Uh, and what happens is, like employers, there's there are many layers of costs. You have administrative fees, asset management fees, trading costs. All of that can, when you add it up, can be two to two and a half percent of your account balance. Mm -hmm. So you have to overcome that two and a half percent threshold in terms of earning a return just to be break even. And so I think the more that employees see that, mm -hmm. then the more they're going to have communication with their employers and try to figure out how to make it more competitive. And I think you will see over time. Uh, that movement will cause those fees to come down. But at the same time, it is still going to be, ha it, it is still some action that, that those employees are going to have to take. They as are well. going to have to take, and, and ultimately, uh, if you said, Stuart, what's the first best thing you yeah. can do? The way you'd cut those costs, that 2% overall, down to maybe closer to 1% would be to use instead of actively managed funds, using index funds because mm -hmm. the trading cost inside of index fund is going to be very minimal, whereas the trading cost in actively managed funds can be very, very high. July 1 is when these uh, July when these 1, new, no, so we'll wait to see what it looks like. We'll see, we'll, and we'll follow up on it. We'll That'll take a look at it, see how it looks, and see what we can do with it from there. Stuart, it's always good to see you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks so much. Uh, notice your pet scratching.